Hi, my name is Kevin Modis. I'm with the California Brain Tumor Association, but I actually collaborate with 10 other groups. Uh, one of the groups is emfscientist.org, emfscientist.org. That's 220 doctors and scientists from 39 countries who have looked at health effects from wireless radiation. And from their work and the work of others, we can clearly say that wireless radiation can cause cancer, neurological problems, immune system disorders, and reproductive harm. Clearly, uh, our scientists, along with the other groups I work with, which are composed of people who are developing uh, wireless health effects um, from their various sources. For instance, people developing brain tumors from their cell phone and the radiation emits. Uh, people developing neurological symptoms from the Wi-Fi, from school Wi-Fi. People developing neurological and cancerous health effects from simple smart meters. Smart meters being little wireless meters that are put on people's homes so that the people don't have to come by and read the meter themselves manually. So regardless of the source, and cell towers are the most powerful source of wireless radiation emissions, um, regardless of the source, the health effects can be the same. So what brings me here today is the rollout of 5G technology. And people need to understand that 5G technology is very different from 2G, 3G, and 4G that preceded it. And that is because the wireless radiation is using a higher frequency. Our current wireless technology uses about 1 gigahertz to 4 gigahertz. Um, this new 5G technology is ultra high frequency, ultra high intensity, and it's 24 gigahertz to 90 gigahertz. To put this in some type of perspective, 90 gigahertz is 90 billion electromagnetic waves per second hitting your body. We know people are already getting sick from the lower frequencies, and we expect, that is our scientists expect, that these higher, ultra-high frequency uh, microwaves are going to bring people to disease quicker and in a more intense form. The other problem with 5G technology is these microwaves are very short, so our old microwaves were about two and a half to three feet long. These are now about an inch to half an inch long and they don't travel very well. So they're gonna to have to put a little cell tower transmitter in front of about every two to 10 homes. Now this is a big problem because we know that cancer rates around regular cell towers are about three or four times what they normally should be. We also know that there's neurological symptoms that increase as you get closer and closer to a cell tower. Now these new transmitters are gonna be placed close to people's homes um, it's going to be continuous exposure as with other cell towers, but it'll be emitting a much more higher frequency, high intensity wireless radiation. Ladies and gentlemen, not only are these 5G death towers going to double cancer rates in our country, they are going to be used to target individuals in a way never seen before. Since most people keep their smartphones on them like a tracking device, and since their political profiles are linked to their phones, it only makes sense that this is going to be an easy way to target people silently and without a trace. As you can see with these new 5G death towers, they are going to be focusing beams of high frequency energy at a user's location. These 5G death towers are in fact particle beam weapons that can be aimed at people. These particle beams move at the speed of light and track you wherever you go. And in most cases, you'll be hit with particle beams coming from multiple directions. This truly is a national emergency considering who controls this technology. You saw how the IRS was targeting conservatives. You saw how the FBI covered up the Las Vegas and Hillary investigations. Well, what do you think this beast system is going to do with Christians and conservatives on their networks? Zap, zap, and double zap. That's what, admit it, that's what you would do if you were Dr. Evil. You'd poison the food, the air, the water, and you'd use these death towers to slowly induce cancer. Have no doubt about it, these 5G death towers are bad news any way you look at it. So go to your city council meetings, protest these bad boys from coming up in your neighborhood before it's too late. If you're listening to this, you are the resistance.